It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Monday, the 1st of July. I'm Michael Groff. Typically, this is the time of the year where the monsoon really gets cranked up. We have those daily chances of showers and thunderstorms. The humidity levels come up. But actually, it looks like the forecast is going to trend in the opposite direction over the next several days. Drying out, rain chances going down, storms confined to the higher terrain. Just in time for the 4th of July and the subsequent weekend, yes, it's going to get hot and really hot perhaps by next week. We'll talk about all of it as we dive on in and discuss. First, before we do that, we just wrapped up the month of June and if it felt hot here, I know people are going to say, well, it's always hot in Phoenix in the summer, Mike. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, yes, but... This June 2024 was the hottest on record in Phoenix. The average temperature, or the mean temperature, if you will, 97 degrees. The average high, 109.4. The average low, 84.6. All of those values ranked number one, the hottest on record. And uh, with just one one one-hundredth of an inch of rain officially in the bucket at Sky Harbor, well, at least that was something. So... It ties with several other Junes, and that goes in as the 40th wettest on record. All right, as we take a look outside right now, 1.30 p.m., 104 degrees at Sky Harbor, but that's only half the story. It's it's steamy out there with that dew point up at 65. Relative humidity, 28%. It's a light wind, the barometer falling. Our level weather pattern across the nation right now shows high pressure over the southern plains, the southeast U.S., the Gulf of Mexico, and we are on the western periphery of that here in the southwest. We've got a trough passing to the north of us, and the flow aloft, at least across our portion of the state, is switched more out of the south-southwest. And so as a result, we are right on the edge of the monsoon soup here. Better chances of showers and storms confined to the higher terrain, but... We cannot rule out a stray shower or storm here in South Central Arizona this afternoon or this evening. But the real story is what's lurking off to the west of us, and that is a very strong ridge of high pressure that's going to build in, and that will turn the flow loft more out of the north, and that's going to dry us out by the middle and latter part of the week. And in addition to that, with the drier air coming in, that's going to allow temperatures to really heat up. The watch warning map, We've speaking of, we've got heat advisories and excessive heat warnings from the Gulf of Mexico through the Central Plain states. Out here in the west, excessive heat, a problem for the Mojave Desert, the valleys of California, up into the Great Basin. Other than that, we do have a flood warning right now that is, in effect, a flood advisory for parts of extreme eastern Maricopa County and parts of uh, Gila around the Tonto National Forest. But other than that... Uh, Pretty quiet here across south-central Arizona at this moment. Convective outlook for today. Got that risk of severe storms, the standard slight risk for places like Valentine, Omaha, Lincoln, Nebraska, Scotts Bluff, all the way up to Aberdeen and Pierre and Mitchell, South Dakota, Rapid City and uh, Bismarck, North Dakota. The broader severe weather risk really across much of the central and northern plains as well as the southeast U.S., could be some severe storms. Now, here in Arizona, most of the state in the green, we could see some storms. We don't anticipate any organized severe weather, but any storm during the monsoon can always become severe. And in order for a storm to be severe officially, it must have winds greater than or equal to 58 miles per hour in speed by gust or sustained wind or hail reaching the ground one inch in diameter or greater. All right, checking out the tropics. Very interesting stuff out here. We've got the remnants of Chris in the uh, moving into mainland Mexico. We've got a wave out there in the eastern Atlantic. And, of course, the main story, the big weather headlines, Hurricane Barrel. This is a strong Category 4 hurricane moving through the islands right now. And it's heading out into the Caribbean. Of course, this is notable because this was the first ever Category 4 hurricane in the month of June out there in the Atlantic Basin. And now it's moving into the Caribbean and where it goes from there. Well, pretty good agreement and rather tight cone of uncertainty there from the National Hurricane Center official forecast moving this through the Caribbean, trekking it toward Jamaica with time. Now, of course, that's the bad news. The good news is there are signs this is going to weaken as it moves further west through the Caribbean and eventually 
will have interaction with land over there in the Yucatan Peninsula as it moves into Belize and mainland, or at least the uh, portion of Mexico there with the Yucatan. And then into the Gulf of Mexico, the Bay of Campeche, perhaps. Again, there's a lot of time to monitor that part, whether or not it'll have any impact on the United States. At this point, it does not appear that it will, but obviously that can change and you need to monitor these forecasts very carefully to see the latest on that. But that is barrel. Oof, what a uh, what a monster of a hurricane. All right, the precipitation outlook valid through Monday morning of next week. Rain amounts in Phoenix, not much. A few hundredths of an inch, maybe. About one quarter to one half inch over parts of southeast and east central Arizona. But overall, things are going to start to dry out. We'll talk about why that is right now as we get to the models. Take a look at things. This is the GFS. It's the 12Z run, and it's valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. Ridging over the southeast U.S., the southern plains extending into the southwest. We're on the western periphery of that ridge. We've got a trough passing to the north of us through the central and northern Rockies and out into the plain states, and a very strong ridge building up to around 594 to 597 decameters out there over the eastern Pacific. That ridge will eventually become the dominant feature for us over the next 24 to 48 hours. So... What all of that means down at the surface for the rest of the day today, partly cloudy. There is a slight chance we could see showers or thunderstorms here across south central Arizona, including Phoenix, but it's a pretty low end threat. High temperatures anywhere from about 104 to 107. Now for tonight, slight chance of a shower or storm, lows in the low 80s to low 90s. And then tomorrow we will see some scattered or at least widely scattered showers and storms across eastern Arizona. But for us, the chance of rain is really small, less than 10%. We're not putting it in the forecast. Looks like we're going to dry out. We'll turn mostly sunny. It's going to get hot. Highs closing in on 110 degrees, around 107 to 112. Pretty much the same story on Wednesday. Mostly sunny, hot, 108 to 112. Let's go to the 4th of July, and it sure looks like weather is not going to be a problem. I mean, in terms of fireworks displays and all that. Uh, now, it's going to be hot. And again, oh, it's always hot on the 4th of July, yeah, but it, it will be above average heat. High temperatures anywhere from about 109 to 113 potentially here on the 4th of July. It's just going to be an absolute scorcher. If you think that's hot, Friday, we've got this West Coast Ridge. It continues to move in, and that's going to result in temperatures really soaring here, anywhere from about 111 to 115. Hottest desert spots of southwest Arizona, southeast California, 117, 118, around Death Valley, over 120 degrees. Now, the GFS does depict a rather impressive complex of showers and storms over northwest Mexico and infringing into southeast Arizona Friday evening. And that could trigger a Gulf surge, and we could see some uh, push of moisture in here on Saturday. But boy, overall, uh, the forecast looks to stay dry even into this weekend with uh, generally rain chances well under 10% across south-central Arizona. Even over the higher terrain of northern and eastern Arizona, storms will be few and far between. About the only real meaningful chance of rain will be over the southeastern corner of the state and along the international border. That's going to be about it. And high temperatures this weekend aren't going to lower very much either. I'd say anywhere from 110 to 114 for both Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and again, there will be these bouts of increased humidity, but overall, uh, the humidity should be trending down with more of a northerly flow here. Here's a week from today. This is Monday, the 8th of July. And again, this ridge is moving right on top of us. And again, upper heights, 594, 590 to 597 decameters. If that's right, we will be sizzling hot. Highs anywhere from about 109 to 115. Going out 10 days, this is Wednesday the 10th. And that's a ridge. It's sitting right on top of us. Uh, upper heights cresting again about 597 decameters. And... With the ridge right where it is, there's just no real possibility for shower and thunderstorm development as, uh, again, subsidence right there. The mid and upper levels of the atmosphere will be way too warm. We'll have too much of a capping inversion. I doubt we'll see much, if any, precipitation in that kind of a setup. 
at least across most of the state. Again, southeastern corner of the state, northwest Mexico could see some showers and storms, but uh, for us, it'll just be hot. In fact, we could see highs uh, in that setup, I'd say anywhere from 113 to 118 here in the lower deserts and the hottest desert spots of southeast California, southwest Arizona, the lower Colorado River Valley. Again, if this verifies, if, 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 could see highs pushing up toward 120 degrees. Look at a rainfall for Phoenix off the GFS Ensemble. This goes out through the 15th of July. And yeah, not looking as promising now, is it? Now, the, the control member here uh, is pushing up toward uh, an inch. But most of the members don't show a whole lot of precipitation. Again, there's there's going to be a couple opportunities and maybe out beyond 10 days. Once that ridge starts moving further east, as indications are, uh, we could start to see more moisture coming back into the state. But it sure looks like we're going to have quite a bout of drier weather around here for a while. European ensemble, the mean is under one quarter of an inch. So, again, we are probably looking at a prolonged period of drier weather, not completely dry, but mostly dry weather uh, for the next couple of weeks. And that, that's what we've been worried about. We've been talking about this through much of the month of May and June, about this being a rather dry monsoon. Now, we had an early start. We, it looked quite promising at the beginning. But, you know, it's one of those things. It's, this is looking to turn around, unfortunately, for... Uh, for the worse over the next couple of weeks. But that said, it may not last. We'll see. Uh, looking at temperatures off the national blend of models, I mean, this, this is ridiculous. Highs 110 plus on just about every day. Uh, 115, 116 as we get out there into next week. Uh, this, you know, look, last summer was the hottest on record officially in Phoenix. This year, we're starting out with Already the hottest June on record. And for all, all it's going to take now is even if July is slightly above average and August is slightly above average, we could still have another run at breaking the all-time record for the hottest summer. I know nobody wants to hear that. And people are going to say, you're being an alarmist, Mike. I'm not. I'm telling you what is possible given where we already are, given the forecast over the next couple of weeks, and given the long-range outlook. Now, with all of that being said, let's check out the climate outlook. This is from the Climate Prediction Center over the next 8 to 14 days. Or actually, this is the, this is the outlook for the entire month of July. Uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, and again, above average precipitation is favored across southeast, far southeast Arizona, parts of New Mexico, West Texas. Uh, along the Rio Grande there. Uh, for us, the, across the rest of the state, now we're in the equal chances bracket. So that means 33% chance of above, below, or average precipitation. So this is an improvement over previous CPC outlooks for the month of July. But uh, even so, uh, at least the first couple of weeks of the month look to stay rather dry for us here across South Central Arizona. Let's let's hope things continue to trend a better direction. But right now, that's how it looks over the next uh, 30 days here with temperatures above average and precipitation. Again, equal chances of I, of any of those outcomes above, below or near average precipitation. All right, uh, that's it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomor tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, click that notification bell, leave those comments, questions, and suggestions. And, of course, I show the Sweet Child Arizona banner because the executive producer of the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion is my one and only, the sweetest of all time, the Asian sensation and proprietor of that very banner and that very website. It's called SweetChildAZ.com or sweetchildaz.org, and the Facebook page of the same name, Sweet Child Arizona, talking about my Michelle. Please check her out, check out her blogs, check out all Michelle-related stuff linked up down in the description. And our streaming station, it's called KMGX. We play a ton of music, have a lot of fun with that, so give that a listen as well. All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. All of your continued support, it is so greatly appreciated. Please be safe, stay cool, stay hydrated out there. 
Uh, if you really like our videos, click the thanks icon below uh, here on YouTube. Make that monetary contribution or donate directly to me via PayPal. Uh, that would really help us out. And otherwise, you guys have yourselves a beautiful rest of your Monday. Monday.